Mira, Mira on the wall. Who's the top anchor of the mall? You're the top anchor of the I know I'm not. But going back to Trump, or maybe a lot earlier, the U.S. politicians have long been obsessed with being the first, which is okay, lady first or whatever first. I mean, human history was made possible by pushing forward a first, who's then obligated to go get the others. In terms of economic strength, America is the first. But after being the first, America was like. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Yeah, they're so obsessed with being the first that sometimes Americans are like, "Do we really deserve it?" The U.S. soared from 13th to the world's number one in the latest COVID resilience ranking. How come? Because Bloomberg, which compiled the ranking, decided that death tolls and case lows no longer matter. Even prevention measures like lockdowns and quarantines are considered red marks in the ranking. And here's the craziest part: the title of the ranking is "The Bits and Worst Places to Be as the World Finally Reopens," which means America is now the best country in the world to visit. With over 20,000 new daily cases and hundreds dying every day, best place to visit. People are like, Bloomberg lost his freaking mind. I'm not going. No, not me. <laughs> Come on, Bloomberg. Really? But seriously, there's no need to go out of your way to be the first, America. You've done a pretty good job already. You're the first in number of COVID cases and deaths. You're the first in the polarization of rich and poor. You're the first in number of foreign wars waged. You're the first in terms of gun violence. You're the first in number of deaths from drug use. You're the first in number of prisoners, most of whom are people of color. I could go on if you like being the first so much. Bloomberg is not your mirror. The numbers are.